Hi everyone, thank you for being here. My name is Bonnie, the first presenter of today's presentation. It's also my first time to be the presenter. I work in Investor Relations Department. You may be curious, what does Investor Relations do? In this role, I need to assist company's poor person to let investors fully understand company's operation and the future prospect. We hold the quarterly earning calls and investor conference to communicate and exchange the market information. I'm very interested in Holtex product, and I believe I could give you a different way from engineer to experience today's new product presentation. This year is a fluctuating year for Holtex. Inventory in the nation is still ongoing. However, we still make an effort to develop key products for you. This year, we release new products into 12 different sections. I'm going to start with the first two sections, 32-bit standard MCU and the 8-bit standard MCU. Let's start with the 32-bit standard MCU first. This year, we roll out two types of 32-bit standard MCU. One is a more powerful uh, M0 plus flash MCU. Another is our new Milestone M4 MCU. Actually, we already released the 5.0 MCU in the past, but this time, we enhance the version and come with the CAM bus. We roll out two types of uh, 32 bit fiber M0 plus flash MCU this year. One is the 504 series, another is the 532 series. The 532 series carry the CAN bus function, which is suitable for automotive field and industrial control. You can see the product evolution in this roadmap. After release the 504 series with a 20 MHz operating frequency, we decide to roll out the 504 series with 16 MHz. For the 504 series, the most amazing thing is the operating temperature can reach up to 105 degrees to meet the needs of the industrial control. And second, it could operate up to 60 MHz. We upgraded the SPS from 1 MHz to 2 MHz to meet the high-speed data perception. And this time, we added the, P uh, we added the PDMA function and supports the IEC 60730. All the HD32 series supports the IEC 60730 Class B test library and the application node to save your time to verify the design. For the 504 series, it supports the flash memory size up to 128 KB and the SRAM size up to 16 KB. All of them provide the IAP function, and we also provide a ready-to-use IAP application code for various interfaces. And they all carry the rich interfaces, some of them also provide the two channels of a comparator. The MCUs I mentioned earlier are general purpose. Here's the CAN bus type 532 series. Same as the general purpose, it supports the above this function. But for the 532 series, we add the CAN bus and the lead mode. So we can apply it into each scooter charger to transfer the data between the charger and the battery pack. For the CAN bus type, it supports the flash memory size up to 128 KB and the SRAM size up to 16 KB. All of them provide the IAP function and carry the rich interfaces. Some of them provide the two channels of a comparator. So we can apply the 504 series to industrial control and the home appliance with a wide range of operating temperature. For the 532 series with the CAN bus function, you can apply it to automotive field. Now 
moving on to our new milestone and for MCU. As everybody knows, Hotex has dedicated to 32-bit MCU for 10 years. The community shipment has reached 150kk. And when you look at where we are today, we're actually at a very unique position that everything needs huge computes and lots of memory. So we decide to move on to our new milestone and for MCU to meet the market demand. HD32F49365 and 49395 are our new release 32 bit M4 MCU. They all carry the high operating frequency, which could reach up to 240 MHz, and carry the rich interfaces. The Cortex M4 includes the FPU and DSP to support the difficult calculation. And the last one is all of them embedded with a large memory capacity. So here you can see they support the flash memory size up to 1024K bytes and the SRAM size up to 224K bytes. The operating temperature is from minus 40 to 105 degrees. So therefore, we can apply the new release and 4 MCU to advanced thermal sets and robot vacuum cleaner. To summarize, the 32 bit MCU markets will grow rapidly in the future. As Holtec's long term development plan, we continue to enhance our 32 bit product line to embrace the smart age area. There are some instances I would like to give you about 32 bit MCU that we will focus on in the near future. First of all, for the home healthcare measurement, driven by the AI cloud diagnosis which will combine the age computing and 32-bit measurement sensor. Second, for the BMS and BODC motor control, must have the CAN bus function and high computing 32-bit MCU to meet the demand of the industrial control. Now, turning your attention to AB standard MCU, even though Hotec is committed to developing 32-bit MCU, we still roll out a new version of an 8-bit MCU in order to be compatible with more products. This year, we separate the 8-bit standard MCU into three parts. Flash MCU, OTP MCU, and high accuracy HRC MCU. Let's talk about the Flash MCU first. HD66 L25308 is our low power new release low power ADC flash MCU. Compared with the previous version, it provides more concise memory size with 2K wall of ROM and 128 bytes of RAM and WE Pro. The 25308 supports the following function. First, low power consumption. When the watchdog is running, the standby current can be lower than 1 microamp, which is a power saving design for low power MCU. Second, the internal MIRC and means middle clock system. The SAR ADC provides a low conversion current. And the most attractive is it provides the temperature sensor. So we can apply this low power MCU to low power operation, such as a contactless body thermometer, small locker, and a hot water temperature detector. Now I'm going to introduce the enhanced ADC flash MCU with OPA. HT66F4640 compared with the previous version, both of them provide the OPA DAC and comparator. But this time, we add the IAP function and support the IEC 60730. This is a safety standard for home appliance to make your product safer in use. And this MCU also carries a temperature sensor. Besides, we add the enhanced PWN in this MCU. Okay. 
The first, in order to apply the false exposure to model control, we add the following PWM function. First, it provides the three channels of a complementary output and for the hardware protection, the software can preset the output label, which is triggered by the hardware. Moreover, the day zone protection can prevent the modes from conducting at the same time. And the last one is the align mode. You can choose the age or line or center align by the software. For the 4640, it supports 4K word over ROM and 512 files over RAM and double Pro. With a uh, channel 12 bit ADC and carry rich interfaces. So we can apply the 4640 to PN 2.5 dust sensor plus oscillometer and the charger. In order to meet the needs of the end customer, we roll out a new version of a code optimized and high performance ADC flash MCU. Uh, HT66F31A4 and 3194 are the extension product of the 31A5 and 3195. So they could pin to pin compatible with the 31A5 and 3195. And both of them provide a high speed power reset in 16 milliseconds and also carry the full adjustable LCD driver. The 3184 and the 3194 provide a ROM size up to 8K wall and a RAM size up to 512 bytes with a, with a 12 channel ADC. So you can apply the list MCU to power bank, coffee machine, and the vacuum cleaner. Coming up is our OTP MCU. In order to meet different scenarios, the product with a single function and mature type could choose the OTP MCU to obtain the price advantage. As you can see from the picture, we can apply the OTP MCU to small appliances such as a hair straighter, waffle machine, and the electrical toothbrush. This year, we roll out a new version of AB's OTP MCU by advanced OTP uh, by adopting advanced OTP process, and the price is more competitive. As you can see on the Right side, the power number with a 68 supports the I.O. type and the, on the left side, the power number with a 66 supports the ADC function. For the I.O. type, it supports the ROM size up to 2K wall and the RAM size up to 96 bytes. The operating temperature, the operating voltage is from 2 volt to 5.5 volts. And for the ADC function, it supports the ROM size up to 2K wall and the RAM size up to 128 bytes with a 10 channel ADC. In addition to journal function, all the 8 bits OTP and CU support the VPP with GPIO, which means the VPP can share with IOP. And some of them carry the ORPP function. ORPP stands for OTP ROM Parameter Program. Because the OTP MCU doesn't have the double prone to program the calibration, so we add the ORPP for secondary programming. Some of them build in the ASCOM LCD driver, and the 003 and 004 supports the PWM function, PWM programming with three channels. Moving on to our last part, high accuracy HRRC MCU. You can apply this kind of MCU to IR remote controller. This year, we roll out two types of high accuracy HRRC MCU. HT60AR2420 is our OTP series. 
and the HT67 F2452, PS67F2432 are our flash series. For the OTP2420, supports the 1K watt of ROM and 32 bytes of RAM. And for the flash series, it supports 8K watt of ROM. And the ROM RAM size up to 512 bytes. Especially 2432 supports a touch key. For the application of an IR remote controller, the whole series are building high accurate oscillator with a 4 MHz system clock. And this time, we improve the accuracy tolerance to 0.8%, which would be easier for the customer to demodulate the signal. And some of them integrated the IR LED driver and carry the IR frequency generator with a full selectable frequency. The function of the flash series are complete and diverse. They support the ADC up to a channel and uh, with a 28 by 6 LCD driver, especially 2452 add the IAP function. Now I'm going to talk about the related topic IR remote controller workshop. You can apply the following MCU into this workshop. In this amazing workshop, you can not only define the protocol by yourself, but also you can use the evaluation board to create and verify your design. Let's see what this workshop has. Graphic design interface, secondary development, and the most amazing is it provides the hardware debugging. So you can use the this workshop to connect with the e-link, then use the evaluation board to design and verify your product. Or you can use the decoding board to learn in the code from the IR remote controller. Then for the NAS, you can use the eWriter Pro, you can use the uh, workshop to connect with the eWriter Pro then to program your product. So we can apply this uh, high accuracy HRC MCU to kinds of uh, IR and the IR LCD remote controller. To sum it up, there are a few keys I would like to give you to take away. First of all, we are incredibly excited about our new M4 MCU. Because it could not only apply to automotive field, but also could be used in edge computing for AI MCU. Second, with the perfect balance in performance, price, and the power consumption, our A bit MCU are suitable for a wide range of the products. And the last one is we are really, really focused on making it easy for our customer to deploy. So the instinct platform, such as the workshop and the application nodes, will lower the barrier for you to adoption. Above is my presentation. Then I will ask Quan Xi to introduce the following products for you. Thank you.